All you guys are going to do is you're going to hit the ladder. Watch Coach Bunsick right here. And you're going to close out with high hands. All right, y'all give, give him two claps. Give him two claps. All right, Coach did a good job. What we emphasize is getting a wide base, getting high hands up. When we trace the ball, Coach is down in a stance. He's got a hand here, okay? If uh, He's got both hands here. If he puts it down to the... This side, this hand's in, the, in his face, that hand's in the passing lane right there. And we do that all over. Ball, 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 ball. We try and intimidate with our voice. We feel like if you're going to be a good defensive team, you've got to be loud. You've got to communicate. You've got to have passion. You've got to have intens intensity. So we start that every single day with this drill right here. And we'll go through all the different progressions. So why don't you guys come on through here. And then the second part of it, once coach tells him to go, he's going to sprint over here. We have three baskets. So this is the middle bucket. We have one over here, one over here. So this guy's at the front of the rim. He would come outside the charge circle. Coach would hit him. He would take a charge. Now, of course, we talked to our guys about how to take a charge. When you get hit, oh, or charge, you know, breaking at the knees and then pushing yourself off like that so you don't fall like a tree that just got cut down, so you absorb it. So we work on that. So let's come through a couple of times so everybody can see it. All right, come on through. One, one in each step. Just pop your feet and just take a charge. Oh, 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 loud, so loud. As, there you go. He, Good, so go. Next. Now just pop it with your hands. There you go. Good, take, take a charge. Ball, 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 ball. There you go. Just step into him. Step into him. Good. Good. Sell the charge. Be loud. Pop your feet. Go. Come pop your feet. Pop your feet. Charge. Good. Out of babe. Good. Good. Just take a couple steps and pop your feet. All right, that's good. Hold, hold up, hold up right there. All right, now, the other thing we try and do, when we guard right here, coach has got a live dribble. We talk to our guys a lot about being aggressive, put it above your head, and trying to get up so he turns his body. He turns his body that way, okay? Because if he turns his body that way, we got him, okay? So we want to get up in him and be physical with him. You got to get a wide stance, and you got to be aggressive with it. Um, Coach, is there anything you want to add on this drill? No, we just, we just want to make sure that our, our shoulders are below his shoulders. So if he's in a stance, we want a wide base, and we want to make sure that we talk to him all the time about getting our, our shoulders below the offensive player's shoulders so that we can get under him a little bit, depending on your athletic ability, who you're guarding, scouting reports, everything. But we want to be under him, and we want to badger that ball, like Coach Cross said. We want to make sure that we badger it and maybe even put a hand in his face. But we do this every day. It's a great drill. It's a great drill to incorporate three or four things. Footwork, closing out, and, and Coach has done a good job explaining, but we want to make sure we close out with high hands because we don't want the ball in the house. We don't want it dribble penetrated, pass penetrated. We don't want it in the house. So that's why we're closing out with high hands is is obviously we can contest the shot, but we don't want them to make a direct pass to the house. And so we're throwing our weight back, closing out, chopping our feet, and we teach our guys to close out short to start. We want to close out short, then we want to gradually get up underneath them. We have the ladders right here, so close out to them, put your hands up, and we'll have a manager sitting right here. Oh, see, so you didn't put your hands up. You got to put your hands up. That's part of closing out with high hands is preventing those penetrating passes right in there. One blocking.